What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, our king, welcoming you back to more Anthem. In the last episode, we, uh, we rescued some sort of scientist dude after being told to do so by some rich general-looking lady. In this episode, I want to actually implement some of my upgrades here that we got, uh, between, uh, we got during that last mission. So, let's see. I got, I can't actually input any components yet. So, let's see. Backup weapon. Let's add... Let's see. Let's add the hammerhead because we got that last time. So now we have, and it's it's a little bit better than our relentless. Doesn't have as much ammo, but it does a lot more damage, which is cool. Um, let's see. Strike system. I swear there was somewhere where I got something. Oh yeah, twin blades. That's what I got. That was better. I got the power three twin blades. So we're gonna want to equip those, and then it's something on the assault system. Spark dash. Interceptor gathers strength and charges target, damaging everything on path or a combo. I really do like my shurikens, though. And, wait, where did mine go? Are they just gone? Oh. No, no, there's Plasma Star. Hold on. What did I get rid of? It was my, it was my Acid Bomb. That's what I got rid of. I guess that's okay. I'd rather be, I can be a lot more movement focused with an ability like this, but, uh, oh, here's the lady that we talked to. Let's, let's say hi. Freelancer. Thanks for the save. That trouble was unexpected. You often hang around outside the walls like that? Occupational hazard, but this was different. Something's making the scars more violent. I think it's the Dominion. We think they're back. I'm sure you must know Freelancer Yaro. <sighs> I think Tassin's right. This feels like before the attack on Freemark. The one that set off the Heart of Rage? I don't really know the whole story. I do. Much of what I am about to tell you is not well known. My ward, Johnny, was there 10 years ago. She saw it with her own eyes. What you will already know is that Fremark was one of the great cities of Bastion. Ancient. Proud, prosperous, but most important, it held the largest and greatest enclave of freelancers anywhere. The freelancers, along with the Sentinels, guardians of the walls, protected Freemark and its people from the chaos of our world. Until one day, the Dominion arrived on their doorstep. Cruel conquerors from the north. The Dominion, the Sentinels, and the Freelancers would make their claim for Freemark that day. Each group heirs in their own right to the legendary General Tarsis and her Legion of Dawn. Freelancer Adams led the charge as the Enclave left to meet the Dominion forces head on. My Johnny says the army was massive. The Dominion was led by Dr. Harkin, a man never seen before or after that day. He came to take the city at any cost. So they fought, outnumbered, outflanked, and outgunned. Freelancers fought. They did well for a time. But the walls of the Great Free Mark did not hold. The Dominion poured in. 
Adams, with many freelancers, made their last stand outside the city walls. While some, like Johnny, stayed to help who she could. When, without warning, the doomed sentinels fell back. But now I tell you that deep in the city, Johnny discovered what the sentinels already knew. The Dominion didn't want to destroy Freemark. They wanted to capture an ancient Shaper relic that was protected deep inside the city. The Cenotaph. It seems this Dr. Harkin believed he had created a way for the Dominion to use the Cenotaph to control the Anthem of Creation itself. Arrogance. The Anthem will not be controlled. The terrible cataclysm, which was unleashed that day, destroyed Freemark, destroyed the Dominion, destroyed everything. That cataclysm became the heart of rage. Some survived to tell the story of Freemark, but not many. Dominion must be back for a reason. I clearly have more intel to hunt down. Come and find me later. Yeah, me too. I'll contact you when I have something. I'll be in the Enclave. Well, okay then. That was quite the story. Faction system unlock. Access the faction system with the challenges have helped the Sentinels, Freelancers, and Arcanists to unlock rewards and upgrade for Tarsus. Okay. Well, who are we talking to first? You, Prospero. Hey there. I figured you'd make your way to me soon enough. You're the new freelancer I've been hearing about. Only the good parts. <laughs> oh, it's all good. The fact that anybody's talking about a freelancer is even better. Name's Prospero. I'm betting you're the one I've been waiting for. Yeah? Why is that? You understand being a freelancer is more than just a job. It's about pride. Pride in doing something well. Pride in your javelin. Hasn't been much of that lately. Intolerable. Who wants to charge into a fight looking plain and simple? What kind of statement does that make? Not when you could fly in looking like steel thunder come to life. A fistful of lightning in one hand and a hailstorm of pain in the other. That's colorful. Is what I do. When lances want to make a statement, they buy something special for their javelin. Maybe custom decals or bodywork. I'm the guy they come to. We're used to. Hasn't been any demand. The Forge can't even build anything these days. I'm hoping you can change that. How can I help? We need to fire it up again. That takes Ember and someone with the guts to collect it. If you can find some, I'm back in business. We both are. I'll teach you how to craft things. Okay, I'll buy it. What I wanted to hear, you'll need to search for Ember outside the fort. Bring it here and we can start getting this place back on its feet. Will do. So crafting, huh? We need to get Ember, a naturally occurring dangerous byproduct of the Anthem. Used as a foundation for human technology, this rare substance can be found by harvesting the various plants and minerals throughout Bastion. Okay, well I will accept that. I guess to make my Anthem look prettier. So uh, what do I got now? Free play unlocked. Free play allows you to explore the world by yourself. Coll collectibles, crafting materials, and worlds are available to discover. Okay, that is interesting to me, and we might have to do that. Why is it sending me... I already talked to... Hey, I, I, do I have Ember? Got good news. All the Ember you need. What I wanted to hear. Oh, okay. Apparently I already had some. Let's get to business and fire up the forge. It's time all these javelins around here got the tender loving care they deserve. Head on over to the forge, and you can start crafting. But don't forget, when you want to make a statement, 
Maybe polish that javelin up with a nice coat of pain and thunder. Come see me. So, you're the thunder merchant, huh? Hey, the best freelancers always arrive with a bang. But first, they buy it from me. Don't be a stranger. Okay, what do you have? Do I need to relight the forge first? Hold on. Okay, yeah, crafting unlocked. Cool, cool, cool. What do I do? Go over here and put it in the... Th or do I talk to you? I don't know if I want to talk to you. I do have to talk to you. Gosh, ah, freaking... I have another job for you. I'm flattered, but I still don't really know you. Old habit. I work for Corvus. Ah, a spy. My job is to keep tabs on threats to Fort Tarsus. I have an agent embedded with the regulators, a group of smugglers. She keeps the really dangerous stuff from the wrong buyers. But her last report said there'd been an incursion of foreign operatives in the area. Who are they? Like I said before, I'm betting Dominion. Which means trouble's coming our way. Big trouble, if you're right. I think trouble's your idea of fun. Start by meeting my agent at a regulator camp here. Learn what else she knows and go from there. We'll get it done. Okay. I have to say, I like the side like the characters i talk to for the most part they're they're mostly good i really dislike the the, the protagonist though he's very annoying like my gosh okay well i guess we could do that expedition um i can always just start it whenever but um can i so can i not buy anything from you no this is the freaking uh this is this crap hold on is there like I, I, let's just see if, really quickly, if there is something, what is, what even is any of this? Is this pay to win? Usable, re glorious result. What does any of this do? I don't know if it's any good. I don't, mm, mm. there's emblems. And I can't afford any of this because obviously they don't want you to. Although that would look really cool on not that one so much. That's just kind of a Titanfall ripoff, if I'm being honest, in terms of the color scheme. Which, you know, can you really call it a ripoff when Electronic Arts owns the properties for all those games? Which is the biggest shame in the world. I'm so sad about that to this day. Bring back Titanfall. Let us get a Titanfall 3. My gosh. Okay, I have no idea what this does, but I'm going to get it. Glorious result. What is it? It's a pistol. Oh. Why doesn't it show that before you buy it? Hold on. I honestly, that's an assault launcher. What is, okay, uh, hold on a second. I'm actually going to get all of these. I don't even care. These are all, a, that's a seal. Is this an actual weapon? This one's an actual weapon. So I need it to be level 53. Upgraded sledgehammer. Slow rate of fire with best striking power. Marksman swiftness. I'm pretty sure I can equip those. But I am going to a check anyway. Because I probably need to be at a certain level to do so. Let's see. Uh, weapons. Let me find out. Oh my gosh, I can. Wow, really? That seems a little bit stupid, but okay. I will now equip those for this, the glorious result. And now we are suddenly at power 113. Is that going to suddenly make missions a lot harder? Is that just going to allow me to level up faster? Because based on the way... So the way that, the, that these sorts of games usually work is that the sort of gear you're going to drop is based on your overall power level. And the fact that I've, you know, I've got 53, 53, and then 313 there on my actual power level on my different weapons i have to imagine is it going to just ramp the difficulty up i don't know we'll see because usually the difficulty ties into your power level as well um but let's jump and start into this i could have just held y but whatever we get the little scene of me jumping into my interceptor so that's cool we're not going to be doing much you know what let's well i think we'll save the mission for now let's jump into free play and see if we can find some stuff uh i guess do i just go here yes I just go here okay and then that's correct launch please and thank you oh it has to oh okay so that has to be public doesn't it it's not gonna match make me with people in a squad is it nope I don't think so well we're just gonna be flying around seeing what we can find gathering materials and such since I've only got what 15 minutes left in this episode 
But we'll save that expedition for another time. If you guys want to see more of this, obviously, as I've said with any of these series, let me know. Let me know if you want me to continue just, you know, out of intrigue and whatnot. Because this game is dead. This game is essentially dead. We're not going to see any more of it. And, uh, my, I mean, I guess it'd be nice to see it as it is, or at least as it was before the plug was pulled. Uh, because someday, obviously, the servers for this game are going to shut down. They haven't announced that they're going to do that anytime soon. But it's going to happen. I can't imagine there's a huge player base left for this game already. Ever since the announcement. I mean, I'm recording this oh, several months after the announcement. So it's probably a pretty small player count at this point. But I, like I said, I am... For the most part, impressed with at least the combat side of things in this game. It is fun to shoot things. It is fun to fly around. The movement abilities are cool. Your abilities in general are just cool. It's just all the other systems that I'm like, okay, I can see why people had a lot of problems with this. And granted, I also haven't seen the end game stuff. And a lot of times that is a make or break for games like this. Legendary event is active. Select the legendary event icon on the map to track it. There is people out here. Let's see, where is this legendary event at? Um, can I zoom out? Let's see, is this, is this the legendary event way over here? Time trial, emerald run, no, how do I zoom out here? Where is this legendary event at? Time. These are all time trials, what is this thing? That's another fast travel point that I probably can't go to. I don't see anything about the legendary event. Really confused. Alright, well, whatever. Let's get on out of here. And, uh, see what we can find. Probably should dive down to see if I can cool off a little bit. This, oh, this world is so beautiful to look at, though. It really is. And I know it's just kind of one thing, but I still love the way it looks. Got a camp. See, gathering falls unlocked, okay. Just have a look around and see what awaits us. What do we got down here? Over by Super Frogger 3. What do you got down here, buddy? Let's see, alright, so down here. Not seeing much. Can I harvest any of this? I can. So we got organic materials. Chimeric compound as opposed to the chimeric stone or mineral or whatever it was that I was getting. What do we got over here? There is a green bar of some sort. It's probably, I don't know, maybe that's Super Frogger's health. Whatever. I couldn't find anything about that legendary event. So what do we got over here? The double cross. Now this looks interesting. This looks like a way into something. Let's see. Let's do some exploring. I don't know. Actually, no, this isn't. Uh, that's just a little tunnel. There's got to be some sort of tunnel. Oh, here we go. Hello, boys. You're not going to mess with me, are you? I see a thing over that way. Let's go figure that out. Okay, those, those guys don't look interested in fighting me. Maybe they are. I don't know. And apparently we have a loading screen in here. Okay, you gotta you got to make your... Open wall a little bit more seamless than that, guys. Goodness. It's better to have loading zones than loading screens. You know what I mean? Alright, what do we got in here? If I haven't been here. Maybe there's interesting stuff I can get. Also, enemies I can fight. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Uh, hello! Lesser Ash Titan. Oh my gosh, this gun just tears them up. Ow! What in the heck is that damage? Okay. Those are turrets. Got it. And I am very much burning. Still? No, it's going away now. Okay, well, hold on. Let me kill this gas turret. This gun is just tearing stuff up. Is this overkill? This probably is overkill. Whatever it is, I'm going to grab some ammo here. How do I switch weapons? Um, no, that's not the button. What is it? It would be... Is it A? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please don't tell me it's... 
Nope, that's the communication menu. I'm so confused. What would the button be? I'm trying to think of all my buttons here. No, that's my ability. Not X. It wouldn't be I. It wouldn't be B. Am I really going to have to look this up? Oh my gosh. Alright, let's figure this out. Uh, it doesn't have anything. Although it does. It is good to actually look at these kinds of things. Although I'm doing this a little bit late. Um, let's see. Switch weapon. It, it, it's X. Okay. So how do I... I hold it. Okay, got it. So I've got my little pistol here. It's a burst pistol. That's interesting. What do we have down here? Anything aside from that titan that I just killed? Or is that really all that's in here? I was hoping for something a little bit more. Like, I don't know. They're already copying Destiny in a lot of ways. Maybe there's, this was going to be more like a lost sector or something. And it wasn't just going to be a single enemy. And Ah! A single enemy and some turrets. I really can't go up this high. Nope, it doesn't let me. That is a... That is blocking me off. Well, alright then. I killed a titan. Woohoo. It was really easy to do. Because apparently my guns are way too strong right now. Alright, back out of the well we go. And, uh... Well, we'll see what else we can find. Yeah, those loading screens are rough, to say the least. Very, very rough. My goodness. What is this thing here? Then there's something we can open. More chimeric compound. Okay, apparently everything in this is chimeric whatever. What do we got over here? Oh, hello, guys. All right, let's see. I want to see what this ability does. Oh, that's fun. Okay, I can, I can handle that using this pistol. All right, let's switch on over to this thing. Ow. All right, you cannot do that. Thank you. All right. Should I really... Was it was it a bad idea for me to pick up this weapon so quickly? I mean, it was in the freaking store. It's available to every player as soon as they get into the game. I don't know. I thought it was a good idea, but now I suddenly feel like way too strong. And I don't know if that's a bad thing. What did I just get? An uncommon item. All right, well, whatever. Let's fly this way and see what we can find. Here we go. Uh, Gathering Falls. It's so World event fell. Where was the world event? The map didn't tell me anything. You can't be yelling at me for that. Not that it really mattered, because I'm assuming nobody else was part of that. What is this? Um, just a th thing for the Cortex. Okay, long ago, the peaceful and majestic beast named the Eddian roamed around our world. Possessing deadly horns and hooves, none dared challenge the Eddian. None save the greedy Ezerite Anzu, who found it most delicious. It haunted the Eddian until only one remained. Freelancers decided to protect the Eddian and battled the Anzu at the watering hole. The Anzu was driven off, but the Eddian was mortally wounded. As it died, plants welcomed it back to the earth, and a great tree sprung from where it lay. Freelancers still consider the great Eddian to be in their protection, keeping their vow from long ago. All right, interesting. Oh, hold on, there's a crate. Might as well get that and get a singular weapon part. Oh no, two weapon parts, okay. Now this over here is interesting. We got a big old, in oh, we also got some enemies here. Shoot the brutes. Wow, this gun just tears. It's not fair. Can I go in here? Whoa, 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 okay. I think I can. I don't really have control over my flying right here. This is like a scripted thing. That's really strange. Whoa, that was weird. All right, well, we got more enemies over here. What's up, guys? Just a second. I'm going to just cool off. And then we are going to... Hiya! What's up? Oh, yep, more of you guys. Is there one behind me? Yes, there is. I'm going to do this real quick just so I can get some things. Get yeah, Sentinel loyalty every time you do that. Oh, I didn't mean to actually switch guns. That was my bad. So now that I know how to do switch weapons, I'm actually doing it too easily. Where is the other enemies? I'm getting shot at by something. I don't see it. Everything is chimeric. It doesn't matter what the plant looks like. That's really weird. And everything dies to this way too easily. And also enemies teleport. Oh my goodness. This game was 
clearly left in an amazing state, I have to say. Like, gosh. See, that, that is one thing. It's like, if you're going to abandon a game, like, at least leave it in a... And it's not like they haven't, but there's just things about it that have issues for sure. Oh, it's such a beautiful game, though. It really actually is quite a shame. Like, I get it. I get, I get why they quit on it. They clearly did not go into this game with the right intentions. So, it was doomed to, from the start. It really was. But at the same time, it is a little bit... It is a little bit of a shame, nonetheless. Ow! Oh, you guys shoot electricity. I don't like that. Yeah, wow, that is some latency on that, isn't it? Alright, where is the time trial at? Let's check my map really quickly. That is not my map. My map is on the other screen. Let's see. It's the time trial right there. Well, we can try it. Down here. Okay, Razor's Edge Run. Please tell me this is going to actually have combat in it. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's a race! Oh, it is a race. Gosh dang it. Okay, sorry. Hold on. Starts in 10 seconds. I'm not going to be going up against anybody, am I? Let's see what we got. Here we go! Alright, so we're flying through rings! It is Super Mario... Uh, Super Mario. Superman 64. And oh my gosh, that is some lag. Let's not do that. There we go. We're fine. Oh, we're going this way, I suppose. Oh, gosh. That's not okay. Uh, I gotta go. Okay, so those things overheat you, which is not good. You have to worry about those. Alright, I'm fine. Ah! Don't get hit by that. Am I going the right way? Oh, gosh. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, get around that. Oh, these things. They are annoying. I'm probably gonna fail this. Here we go. Here we go. Now I can actually see it. Alright, I do have to worry about overheating, obviously. What? Gold time is 150. Alright, now I need to go up. Oh gosh, I am going to run out of time if I'm not careful. Up we go. Up we go. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let's stop that for a second. There we go. Let's go over this thing. I'm getting shot at. Ow, ow, ow. Now over this. As long as I'm going down, I'm usually okay. There we go. Yeah, I gotta get used to this movement a lot more. I am probably not going to get the gold time on this. Oh, that's down. I didn't mean to go down. I meant to go up. Ah, oh, there we go. <sighs> Where are you? There you are. Ah! Oh, this is bad. I am doing very poorly here. And I'm getting shot at. Oh, I jumped over that. How did I jump over that? I've already failed this, haven't I? Yeah, I have. Well, it was worth a shot. And I ran into a thing like a genius. Yeah, the movement in this... Like, this is kind of difficult. We actually got sort of close. Did we? Can we just go back to the thing? Right? Oh, no, there's the finish. My gosh, I was looking at the wrong icon. I'm being shot at! Well, I'm going to get the bronze time. Not very good. I, I did the thing. Does that mean that I restarted or what? I don't want to do that. I want to kill these guys instead. Hello there. Oh, gosh, you are too far below me. Okay, there we go. It's scars. I can fight these guys. Woo! Oh, man, I really do wish that this game... I really would... Is there a, there is a 60 FPS version? Oh, that's right. It's only exclusive to the Xbox Series X, I believe, which is what I don't have. I am playing this on Xbox One, if that wasn't already obvious. But, uh, man, I bet it would be really good if you could do that, and that was not what I meant to do. Hit a thing there. Here, hold on. Let's do this. What's up, Scar Scouts? Okay, I don't need another one of those. Thank you. I missed that. Let's kill the Scar Hunter. There we go. 
good damage. Although I actually don't think that did anything there. Ooh. Oh, I need to kill that thing, don't I? Yep, the Enforcer. Wow, these, this gun just tears through him. That is actually, like, stupid. Alright, can I get up? Eh, give me your stuff. Thank you. Yeah, I can only hit one enemy with that, unfortunately. I think I kind of missed my acid attack. Because that was really nice being able to have a huge AoE effect. Okay, everyone dead? I think everybody's dead. Alright, well, that was interesting. Definitely going to get back to Expeditions next time. Next time we get back on this game, if there is a next time. But I think for now, I'm going to call it here, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I, I, I am interested by this game uh, more, for sure. But I have to say, I also totally get why it flopped. Because despite the combat being amazing, it has a whole lot of other problems that definitely needed addressing and never were addressed. And, uh... Although, I mean, it's got also got a lot of systems that are just kind of generic. And, unfortunately, that's not going to get you by in, when you have all of the competition that these games, you know, these games have in their market. So, I, I get it. I get why it failed. But at the same time, I do think it had a lot of potential. And it is kind of sad to see that it didn't make it so ladies and gentlemen thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode very much if you want to see more like i said just let me know and i will happily get back to it with this game and maybe we can see, at least see its campaign through to the end see you all in the next one <laughs>